Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Thank you to all panel My name is Muhammad Hazid bin Abdul Halim Today I want to present a final year project Which is the study on the water extraction performance for water treatment plant at Pekan So for the project background The water extraction is the process of taking water from any source The extracted raw water will undergo 12 treatment process which is screening, aeration, coagulation, flocculation, sedimentation, filtration, chlorination, pH adjustment, fluoridation, uh, storing clear water, water quality monitoring, and last but, last but not least, uh, the, the distribution of water. The problem statement for my final year project is during water treatment process, several chemicals are used to treat the new water in order to comply the Malaysian standard quality for water consumption. Factor that may influence the quality of water before consumption uh, is type of water resource and dry and wet season. For the objective, first to identify the period of wet and dry season by using the rainfall data. The second, the, to determine the difference in water quality during wet and dry season based on standard parameter which are turbidity, pH value, iron and manganese. Third, to analyze performance of water treatment based on different method of water extraction which is extraction from the river and extraction from the groundwater. Scope of my study, I choose two water treatment plant which is uh, Nenasi water treatment plant and Seko water treatment plant. I choose Nenasi because the type of water extraction is from groundwater and for Sekor water treatment plant is using the river water. So for the literature review, I do some research on water quality standard and water extraction and I also do for, uh, for water quality index and some of the rainfall data and how to get the rainfall data and how, uh, about the rainfall station. For the methodology, First, uh, identify the problem which is uh, the water, the type of water extraction at Nenasi and Seko water treatment plant. And then, literature review. Then, the data collection for 2017, 2018 and 2019. Uh, there are two type of data which is first, rainfall data that I get from uh, Department of Irrigation and uh, Drainage. And second, water quality data which is pH, NTU, ferrum and manganese which is I get from the pipe. Uh, then, uh, I analyze, analysis the rainfall data for wet and dry, to, for wet and dry season in order to determine uh, the wet and dry season. Second, then, I analyze the water quality for both treatment plant. And then, the third analysis uh, is analysis the performance of water treatment plant based on water extraction and then we uh, I got the result and do some the discussion and finally I do the conclusion for data collection uh, first rainfall data which is uh, from 2017 to 2019 the source of uh, rainfall data I get from the department of drainage and irrigation that I mentioned before so uh, we can see the in the slide there are summary for the rainfall station involved which is at the Nenasi water treatment plant there are two uh, rainfall station involved which is dispensary Nenasi and Kampung Tering Tanjung Batu and for Seko Water Treatment Plant there are four uh, rainfall station involved which is Kampung Serambi, Kampung Teman Hilir, Rumah Pam Pahang Tua and lastly Kampung Pulau Manis then the water quality data uh, there are four uh, four parameters which is pH value, turbidity, ferrum and manganese for the nenasi, the wet season were determined by using the rainfall data which is uh, the on January 2017, January 2018 and November 2019. For nenasi, uh, for dry season, uh, June 2017, February 2018, February 2019. And for Sekor, the wet season are uh, same with the nenasi and for dry season uh, a, li got a little bit different which is 2017 the dry season for Seko is March and March 2018 and February 2019. Uh, this is uh, the example of the rainfall data that I get from the DID. Uh, the result and discussion identify the period of wet and dry season by using rainfall data 
First, uh, the slide show the Nenasi water treatment plant and we can summarize that uh, as I said before uh, and then this is for Sekor same with the uh, the Nenasi water treatment plant the, uh, the method I analyze the rainfall data which is I total up the all of the daily rainfall data uh, and summarize, summarize it by mon monthly then I, I assume that the uh, which month that con that uh, contain uh, highest rainfall data will be the wet season and the month that get the lowest data will be the uh, dry season for the second discussion the different mean qu water quality during wet and dry season so four parameters were uh, selected for raw water which is pH value NTU F, uh, Fe and MN so this is the result for the pH value for raw water. The maximum value is 8.09 for within the 3 year and the minimum value is 5.57. The water quality index for raw water that we need to follow is uh, 5 to 9 pH and for treated water is 6.5 to 9. And then this is for the turbidity. So the maximum turbidity within 3 year is 892 uh, NTU and the minimum is 0 0.18 NTU and the water quality index for raw water uh, is 1000 NTU and for treated water is only 5 NTU and then this is for ferrum so the maximum ferrum uh, 3.0 mg per liter which is uh, at the nasi recorded ferrum was very high over the range and the minimum is 0. Point, uh, below 0. 0.01 mg per liter but uh, the water treatment plant at Nenasi uh, managed to lower the value, the value of the ferrum for the uh, clean water uh, which is uh, follow the Malaysian standard quality for uh, below 0. 0.3 mg per liter and then this is for mangan for the maximum uh, is 1.73 mg per liter and for the minimum 0.02 mg per liter and the water quality index for raw water is below 0.2 which is uh, the maximum is over the range and the water quality index for treated water is below 0.1 mg per liter the next discussion is the performance of water treatment plant based on the different method of water extraction so as we as I mentioned before, the Nenasi using the uh, groundwater and the Sekor using the Pahang River. So based on the water extraction, we can see that the turbidity at Nenasi is low, and uh, but in Sekor is very high. This is because the turbidity at Nenasi lower due to the infiltration process of water into the ground. But for Sekor, turbidity are higher due to the storm runoff from upstream to the downstream and for the ferrum value uh, at the nasi was very high uh, but for sekor is very low this is because the ferrum content high in the nasi due to the ferrum dissolve during the movement of water uh, movement of groundwater and the ferrum content low in sekor because the ferrum uh, in the water react with the oxygen to form the insoluble compound and then uh, the insoluble compound uh, will sink to the bottom of the river and for the pH and ma pH and manganese value showed uh, no significant difference between the nasi and sekor water treatment plant and for, lastly for the conclusion first the wet and dry season for 2017, 2018 and 2019 were obtained for rainfall data uh, this is the summary of the uh, wet and dry season and then uh, the next conclusion is the four parameters pH, NTU, ferrum and mangan were used to identify the different in water quality during wet and dry season so as we can see uh, for pH and mangan value show no significant difference during wet and dry season but for the NTU uh, for river extraction the turbidity value increased during wet season due to the mixing of the upper layer and lower layer of the river during storm runoff and increased the outflow turbidity 
and for the ground water turbidity for ground water show no significant difference during wet and dry season so i think that's all from me thank you